uh, I'm just so excited uh, for the future. I'm also excited because we're now making uh, somewhat of an atonement for the past. Tonight, Vice Mayor Gwen McKenzie is calling on City Council to pass a resolution asking the city to apologize and make amends for decades of urban renewal policies. Here's reporter Gabrielle Hayes with more on the vote and what comes next. Tuesday's City Council meeting touched on the African American Equity Restoration Resolution. What it's doing is it is acknowledging urban renewal, the federal urban renewal program, the devastation that it had to the black community. The proposal seeks to put forward $100 million over several years, which McKenzie says would come for the most part from grants. We, we will look to the city to actually go after those federal grants primarily because they potentially could satisfy the majority of this uh, financial commitment. Also, there are private investments that can be made to support the, the work here with this commitment as well as city dollars. McKenzie says a task force will take a look at gaps and disparities and decide where it will go. NAACP President Reverend John Butler says it's a topic that isn't new, but is extremely important. The urban community, the black community has suffered uh, ever since then. And, the, and, and so now uh, recovery is one of those words we use. Restoration is one of those words we use to say that you have to right a wrong. It has been systematically done. He says it's about learning from the past and acknowledging that it happened in the first place. And we, knew, we do need to start to move forward and we all need to be involved in it uh, from all aspects of, our, of the Knoxville community. In Knoxville, I'm Gabrielle Hayes. According to the Beck Cultural Center, the urban renewal project in Knoxville displaced 2,500 families, 70% were African-American.